I need you to go to the back of the cafeteria, do what you do. Do not let me hear the noise when I come through the door. You understand? Mm -hmm. You need support services in schools to help kids be successful. We don't live in the world where it's mom and dad and the kids all just go along quite easily. We are in a school that is probably about 94, 95% free and reduced lunch. And that really doesn't tell the picture. It's not always a lack of money. Sometimes poverty is just a lack of knowledge. How was your day? I am the Family Resource Center coordinator here. We commonly are known as Frisky Coordinator in our school. My role is to support students and families and staff so that in our effort to educate children, we've got all the necessary components to make that as successful as possible so that it may look any kind of way before we're through with it. If you were here from about 8 to about 7, you would see either me working with a kid, being called to a classroom like you just saw. I have kids in this room here, working with a nurse on a child who um, needs some assistance in there, um, in a meeting, on my way to a meeting, on my way from a meeting, scheduling events like we're doing for our programs that we have tonight and the parenting programs that we're offering next week. Planning. If you want tutoring for your kid after school, I've got that for you. If you want medical help for your kid and you don't know how to get it, we've got that here. If you've got a child who has a disability, but you've never applied for Social Security disability, we're going to help you apply for that. We provide referrals for diabetes training for families. We have a partnership with the University of Louisville Dinner School, where we take our kids there. We have a partnership with Cozy Air Charities, where they help provide transportation for kids to get to and from the dental school. Whatever it takes, if it's doable, do it. She's located in a high poverty, high uh, crime area, and a lot of times people don't hear about the Annie's in their area that, that is really going above and beyond to make sure that the children in this area are being connected to those opportunities that they may not know about or that the family just cannot afford. You hear the anxiety that is already in our building. You hear the frustration. And when kids get to that place, they need a safe place to go to. But we also need to provide services so that we're helping them to build capacity so they can manage all of that. When that frustration happens, as they get older, they won't have a safe place to go. They've got to be able to do that internally. So part of what we're doing here out of the Frisky office is providing resources so that they build capacity within themselves. They become resilient. They know how to draw down deep to handle that. Street Academy is a partnership we have with the Urban League and the district to provide our fourth and fifth grade boys with a place to mature in a safe environment. If they've had a really rough day, the very first thing that they do when their director gets there is debrief so they can vent as loud as they want. There are some ground rules, but they can still vent. They need to have that place because when you do that, you're building them up for the next day because they got to come right back into that same classroom the very next day. So you want them to be able to walk in comfortable, confident. I got through yesterday. I can get through the day. The Family Resource Center, and, and in particular, has taken some of the burden off of classroom teachers. I went to homes, you know, to meet with parents and when I had a problem in the classroom. Now Ann and some other uh, member of the staff will do that for teachers, so that's a big difference. Every parent wants their child to be successful. I don't know one. I don't know one parent that does not want their child to be successful. Mm -hmm. It is a math, science, technology school, engineering. There are a lot of good things there, but you need to be able to focus on what you want to happen and what your area is that you want to specialize in because We have a family who still have a fifth grade student here and a first grade student. The oldest student is now in seventh grade. He's a really smart kid, not that great gregarious personality. He is very internal. Mom wanted me to talk with him about what he needs to do in order to be successful in middle school, where he wants to go to high school and begin to prepare himself for that. She wants to talk about the two that are here, especially the first grader. How do we get 
the first grader more focused. For Louisville 10 and Under Tennis, that partnership came in and it gave kids another opportunity to do something totally different from what they're accustomed to. I said, hi, I'm Dee Maynard, and she said, I've been waiting for you to walk in that door. Our kids play basketball and football, but there's golf, there's tennis, there's soccer, there's chess. All of those are sports that we need to help our kids step out into. And then they begin to see a world that they don't normally have opportunities to see. We worked out a tennis program for the children here at Wheatley in the summer. Annie and the Family Resource Center has made this a family program. So we've had parents helping to coach the kids. We have parents who um, make the field trips with us. Um, we've just had a lot of opportunities and we're looking forward to a whole lot more. All of those outside entities that we bring in to tell our kids people value who you are, we're here to help you. I don't know of a school district in this community that doesn't need that. My son was in ICU about four weeks ago. My uncle was admitted two weeks after that. Four of my students from here were the ones caring for my son and for my uncle. At some point, these students are going to be responsible for everything that happens. We want them prepared. You want the work that I do to be so successful that you can go to sleep at night and not worry. Because you know if you age and live long enough, you've got great people coming to take care. You want that.